welcome you to this amazing um, exaltation of the king how we ask that when he is passing by may he remember us amen yeah this is the amazing team of the community center church of God and uh, we are just here to give God all the glory amen hallelujah Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is Mount Zion. The city of the living God. The heavenly Jerusalem. It is the place of the innumerable angels. Hallelujah. The church of the firstborn. We have gathered to the judge of all, to the audience of one, our Lord God Almighty. I have come to worship Jesus. Find a way of just shutting every distraction this afternoon and tune your heart to God. The secret of this afternoon is to be intentional and to mean every sacrifice of worship and praise you're going to release even to God. The Bible says pray in the spirit and even pray also with your understanding. Oh, we want to worship him in spirit and in truth. Tonight I will register my voice. I will register my presence. Oh, nobody will worship the master, even for me. I am here to worship him by myself because he created me to worship him. Oh, we are joining, we are joining. We have just made this strides by prayer this afternoon. We want to go even a little bit deeper again. We want to mount up with the wings like the eagles. We want to soar high upon the wings of the Spirit of God. Carry us upon thy wings, O Holy Ghost. Radabaga sabrakita si kaparano si ataya, zande baka sabrakata zoda ba, le presse katiza kadabaga sobra diga zani mahantes kebredi, le kataza daba sobra kadi rakba rakado si ataya, le prasa kano mahasi zebredi kadi. Come on, mount up, mount up, by the wings of the Spirit of God this afternoon. She kaya la 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 ro sa zebra kadaba kadi, she la li sa kama hasi zabe, le pradaga sa kato sa li kaprani askedi. Ela prada gasosa ni mahanta la bagade, o se la bagazando skabragade. This is Mount Zion, the city of the living God. Rabba gasobra kita si kabrani mahanta la bagadosa, la kataza de sa kapaya. The church of the firstborn, iye kota si elebohosa, zali ha sobre ni gazani mahanta la bagade. Les le kani sa dabana, halibra so zali da 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 de, le kaya tala bagazabra ni gazabra na mah. Oh my God, my God, if I miss anything, I don't want to miss you tonight. I will lay hold on that which is eternal. Shenta shekete zadaba, yeko pakaza diga zabraka dos kabraka de. Come on, register your presence, register your voice in this presence. Zadi sobaka ya labaka zobraki daga sorry atapa ya. Ele kosa ki zabraka da ya. Enta si kapana manta si kabraka de. Repra kaso kapanta si kapaya la de. Repra skato zakata ya. Oh my God, labaka zabaka dos zabraka de. We are raising a sound to Him. Yeko saka ya bahasi ze. Repra skato. Oh, 
Rosa Zigide de Baha, Zipratazana Mahantis Catela Dara, Ecosa Capa Caparados Cata, Lepres Catosa Bragade. Come on, ask him to quicken you to worship him this afternoon. Release the spirit of worship upon me. Ianda Bagasa Bracatosa Bragade. I will journey from the outer court up, even into the holy of holy sub. Lepres Catala Bragade. I will not remain outside. Let every veil be lifted up. Let it be torn from the top to the bottom up. I want to enter Kaya Dabaga Sobra Gadehi Leka Sata Zababo Siatahe Le Parakadagari Sali Aralada Dabo Sazabaga Haladehi Yekata Zadabadarani Kazabranahana Rakatosia Tisa Kepantas Kate Labahana Esse Kaya Lalada Dabo Sazibra Gadahe Asaka Pakato Sabra Gadahe Come on, plug in this afternoon and refuse to let go. Refuse to let go. Shanda baso prakata zada bahana. Asi kato sabagada. Oh, sila baba bo sabagadi. Jesus, we worship you, and we hail you this afternoon, O God. Bara hasiza ko prakadi sakata na bahana. My God, thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, blessings and honor, glory and power, riches and wisdom to the Lord. From generation to generation, you stand as God alone. Dwell a witness tonight. Oh, blessings and honor, glory and power to the King who stands as God alone. From generations to generation, Jesus, you stand as God. We hail you, we worship you, we hail you, O Star. Jesus, we hail, we hail you, Lord, we worship. Jesus, we worship you alone. We have come to hail you, Lord. To hail you, Lord. Most high. How many sing and say we hail you? We hail you. We worship you. We hail you. That is why we came, Lord.
Sobrakanaha, we worship you, Jesus. We worship you. God, we hail you. We hail you. Oh, thy God. Oh, thy God. We hail you, Lord. We hail you. We hail you, Lord. 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 We hail you, We hail you, We we hail you, Jesus. We hail you. We worship you. We worship you. We hail you. We worship you. We worship you. We hail you. We worship you. We worship you. We King of heaven, O Most High, ruler of the world, Most High, King of nations, Most High God, Most High. Most I got, most I got, most I got, most I got, most I Ruler of the earth, 
is the king of nations. Oh, Oh, Sai God, oh, God. Oh, God.
Come on, lift your worship to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. To come on, say hallelujah. We worship you, God. To God, most high. To the Lord God, most high. He has no rival, He has no equal. I will just worship the Lord. Rade sana maradi da dos kapaya neba. Rakusa na marika teza na maradi da des kapoza. Eradi asa na marika teza na maradi da des kapaya. Hallelujah to the Most High God. Rada desa na maradi da des kapaya. Rado sana marika teza na maradi da des kapa. Lord, we worship you and we exalt your name. The Bible says in Psalms 92 verse 10 You have exalted my horn like that of a wild ox Fine oil has been poured on me I want you today to believe that you are anointed Umepakwa mafuta mabichi even as we're about to sing this song, I want you to believe that truly the Lord has chosen you among us many. You are victorious in Christ. Hallelujah.
Suona roho mtakatifu ni mwanani yake Yesu ndani yako Sisi 
With the fresh oil. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor you have been anointed with the fresh oil. You cannot be defeated. I will not lose any battle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Want to declare this name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is no other name greater than the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Asante is. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit.
82 verse 18 says, May they know that you alone are God. May they know that you alone are Lord Supreme, ruler of, over the earth. Amen? Amen? Psalm 86 verse 8, There is no God like you, O Lord. Not one has done what you have done. Psalm 77 verse 13, Everything you do, O God, is holy. No God is greater than you. No God is as great as you are. Hallelujah. Even as you want to confess, truly, he has no rival, he has no equal. He remains to be God from generation to generation, from season to season. Whether the season is bad or good, he remains to be God. How many believe that God is one alone, he is supreme? He has no rival. Tell your neighbor that God has no rival. He has no equal. He is God alone. Amen.
in your life. Come and call the name of Jesus that is above every other name. Yeah. 
Tu sote mabaliza 
David aliona ark of covenant aliona ark of covenant akaanza kurasa what about you ay 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 one more time let's take it up ha Who can battle 
There is no other God besides Jesus. So my neighbor, Jesus. Amen. Say Jesus. Jesus. I can hear you say Jesus. Jesus. And Jesus says, He will restore everything that the Lord has. That the devil. Hey, Shibu. Hey, forgive me. That the enemy has stolen away from you. But anyway, <laughs> he will he will restore everything. Every little thing. I don't know what it is, but Bob. He will restore your jobs, he will restore. Your children, he will restore. Your brothers and sisters. How many believe that the Lord is a restorer? Ah, even as we confess, Nikurejeshi. And I say, my John Kwangu, come to me. Ah, I, are you ready? I, 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 I can't hear you. Come on, give the Lord a shout of praise. Hallelujah. I can't see 
Yote pikinde Kwa kesu taipata Kwa 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 kwa
This is the experience we came for. Basuza kota la di hasi la bahana. Le preske to prana gadi sakata la la bahana. Le braka do sabaka no sake bedi la bahana. Le kota si zalu kana mahanta si kabada da. Le praska ta la braga la bahana. Come on, plug in and refuse to get out. She kato sali la bahana. She le magaya la la bahana. Ola mahada gasi braga da. Want you to use this song. Let God activate your intimacy with Him. We came to encounter and experience Him. Shando bagasi bragadaya. A fresh desire, a fresh appetite for Him. A fresh longing to come upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sante sola bagada bagadehe. Lebra si zakata la marusia zate la bahana. Oh, shayala bagada bagadehe. Thank you, Jesus. to him oh surrender find me find me lord as you draw me oh, no. i am desperate for you Oh, oh, oh. 
desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. I surrender. I surrender. We care for you, Jesus. I surrender. I wanna know you. I wanna know you. Jesus, I wanna know you. I wanna know you.
you can move forward there are some seats half belly wale wanyameka nyuma sana 
kindly move forward so that you can occupy the seat that is in front of you. Kindly occupy the seat that is in front of you before we invite the minister of the word this evening. Kindly let's appreciate God as once again. Let's appreciate God. Thank you, thank you. So we give thanks to the praise and worship. Thank you for all that you have done ministering before the Lord. We give glory to God because of you. Uh, before we move forward, I'd like you to welcome the person seated next to you because Najua Alikuja come and worship him or come up stage. So welcome the person sitting next to you. Mwambie, feel at Jesus. Mwambie, feel the presence of God. Amen, amen. Hey, wana wa salimia ni uko nyuma. Kindly salimia mwenye kokando yako. Mwambie, feel at Jesus. Na umkaribishe sana. So thank you so much. We give thanks to God. We glorify his name. So for all our visitors, when you are karibuni sana. We love you. We love visitors. And we give glory to God because of your presence. We also like to acknowledge the presence of Reverend Ben and uh, Reverend Clarice. Let's appreciate them. Thank you so much. They are our guests today. We welcome them and we, we are so happy to have them in, in our meeting. So thank you so much, Reverend Ben. Thank you so much, Reverend Clarice, for your presence. We would also like to appreciate the presence of uh, Reverend Boabi. Let's appreciate for Reverend Boabi. Thank you, thank you. Reverend Boabi is our mother. She's the one who brought us up. Almost nearly all of us when church, you found Bwabi as a reverend, and she's still a reverend. She's still ministering to us, and we give glory to God because of her ministry. So let's appreciate her once again. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. Worship team, thank you. May God bless you. And uh, thank you. May God bless you so much. And now I'd like to welcome Reverend Bwabi to come and usher in the minister for the word. So Reverend Bwabi, karibu sana, and usher in. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you happy to be in the house of God? Yes. Are you sure you are happy? Yes. What shows that you are happy? It is so humbling to be in the presence of God this evening. I, one, when I was sitting there, I was just saying, why are we not praising and worshipping the way we are doing here every day? Are there seasons and circumstances under which we change our praise or we can be consistent in the way we praise God? Can we promise ourselves that we will be consistent? That our worship will be of high level, just the way it is. At least I, I didn't know many songs, but I can remember, I surrender, I surrender, I wanna want to know you more. I can remember. So we were looking forward to praise and worship that comes within our heart. King David said in Psalm 103 that all oh my soul and all that is within me, praise the Lord. So when we praise like this, when it comes from inside our heart and all that is within me, it pleases the Lord. And I can feel the presence of God in our midst. And I know we are going to leave this place not the way we came. Even us who are not consistent praise and worship us, we have learned something today. That we will praise the Lord from within our heart with all our mind and with all our soul. And with that, I want to bring the greetings of the senior pastor, Reverend James. He has asked an apology this evening because he traveled yesterday for funeral and he was still in the church from morning up to now. So we are here and we are happy to have you, Reverend um, Clarice and our son, 
Simnamja Dina. And I don't know. Good. So I want us to stand up. Every time when we expect from God, we must have expectant hearts. And we want just to appreciate God and tell God that we have an expectant heart this evening. And we are truly confident that you have something in package for our spiritual growth. As we welcome Reverend Ken Benson Okeo. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, I want us to appreciate the worship team. They have done an amazing, amazing job. Amen. And just stretch your hands towards them. Just go ahead and stretch your hands towards them and make a prayer. Just pray for them. And Father, we thank you for this amazing team. Lord, we pray for more of you. We pray, Lord, that may you give them encounters with you. We pray, Lord, for revelation knowledge. We pray, Lord, open the eyes of their understanding. We pray, Lord, for the grace for creativity. Grace for creativity. That, Lord, they will begin birthing new songs in the name of Jesus. That they will birth songs of the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. That, Lord, they will begin to write songs to bad songs, heavenly songs, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless them today, Lord. We bless their health. We bless their future, oh God. And we pray for their preservation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. It's my joy and honor to invite the woman of God, Pastor Clarice, to come and minister the word of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Bonus Amen. I appreciate God for each and every one of you. I thank the Lord for the worship team. I appreciate the leadership and the pastoral represented by our mom here. And uh, I believe that God gathered us not in vain. Amen. Uh, when, when mom was saying that we need to be consistent, most of the time we have led praise and worship for worship teams. I don't know where we got the responsibility or the audacity to be able to give worship teams the responsibility that should be for every child of God that worship teams and you wanna worship big. So what do you do? You as a child of God, what do you do? We have handed that over to our Pastor Clarice. Yeah. 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 To worship teams. That is why we have a problem. When your favorite song is not being sung, you have the audacity to to just look as if you're you're being entertained of some sort. We are in the presence of our Father. Amen. Amen. If there are musicians from vessels of one, I want to invite them. I want to read two scriptures and we'll read them standing because we stand for so many things. We stand when our governors come. Musicians to sing as Ntawaita. Musicians to. Yeah. Sing as Nkoli. First Peter chapter 2 verse 5 so we stand when our governors come we stand when we are waiting for our girlfriends come about your timing we are standing when we are waiting for our wives to give birth my friend we will stand while reading the word first Peter 2 5 what does the Bible say I want us to read together Okay, okay, okay. Sawa? Atusomi baru watu na soma neno. Sawa? Be bold when reading the word. One to go. A 
again. So look at you, never tell them God is not gathering stones. He's building you up as a living stone. Look at another one, tell them God is not gathering stones. Tell them God is building you up as a living stone. He's building you up into a spiritual house. I want us to to read another scripture, 1 Kings chapter 6, verse 7. 1 Kings chapter 6, verse 7. Worship team, we appreciate you greatly. I know how hard you have worked, how you have labored. 1 Kings 6, 7. <laughs> I want us to read it loudly again. One to go. So read again for your sake. One to go. And the temple, when it was being built, it was built with stone finished at the quarry so that no hammer or chisel or any iron tool was had in the temple while it was being built and then take us back to, to, the, to the other scripture in Peter Father we thank you for the reading and the hearing of your word I pray Lord Jehovah God that today we yield ourselves that you may build us up into what you desire you never gathered us in vain, O oh God. We never labored in vain, O oh God. We are coming before you in surrender and in humility of heart that we may be made into what you desire. We may be formed into what you desire. In Jesus' name, we can have our sins. Here on my knees we were Save you mm. here on my knees. Our save you here on my knees. Here on my knees. Oh, our here on. Just softly, musicians. I worship you.
in this house right from the time the worship team was ministering Your name 
is the highest your name is the greatest your name stands above the more all thrones all thrones and dominion of your name says that the Lord dwells in the, in the midst of the praise of his people. <laughs> so even if you don't believe, he is here in his glory, in his greatness, in his magnificence. The fact that you can't feel him doesn't mean he is not present. He is very present. And today the Lord has purpose to build up anyone that is willing when 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 Nixon was leading us into the song I surrender I pray that that would be my sincere prayer and your sincere prayer the Lord you will sweep over my soul the Lord you will take me over oh God that you may be glorified yet again and I'll speak to the place that God will allow me 
Because I feel like God desires to grab for himself a people amongst us. It is called when God builds. We have talked about building and I said that God is not in the business of gathering stones. One of the worship leaders, I think it was Emily, that I pray that this shall become our desire and our prayer. That we must choose to be a generation who shall be lived to stand as living memorials. That Kevin, when another generation comes, will be able to be told there was a man called Kevin that loved prayer and we saw God in his life. You as a child of God, you're not just a part of some, some statistics, but you must choose to be a generation. Whichever generation you represent, choose to be a generation who shall be lived to stand as living memorials. That even when you're alive, we shall be able to see God through your life. To show that the Lord is upright and faithful to his promises. That he is our rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. Even as Psalms 92 verse 15 is declaring. That Lord Jehovah God today amongst us there shall be a people, a generation that will cry from the depth of our hearts, O God. That we shall desire to become living memorials living memorials of what you're doing Jesus living memorials oh God that you're able to raise young people and they can grow into their old age fearing you and there will be no loss in their lives I pray Lord Jehovah God that amongst us is there shall be found a generation that is hungry for you to be seen oh God that we will not only sing songs that we will raise songs that will become altars to nations that we will raise songs that will become altars to churches songs my father that will send forth healing Lord for we know that the, you are a promise keeper. You are a promise keeper. And probably the worship team wondered why they did not have a title. It's because Jesus is our all in all. That Jesus is our beginning and our end. That Jesus becomes the object of our gaze today. And he desires to be the object of our gaze every other time. That we want to be a generation that will be able to present a God that is real. A God that can be able to be testified because our lives will be living memorials of what God is doing. I tell you today, God will grab for himself a people, a generation, a people that are crying and saying, God, I want to be that person that you'd use in my family. I want to be that person that you will use in my church. Ah, my Lord, in my generation, in my school, in my company, where I work, Lord, I want to be a representation of the kingdom of heaven. says that you also as living stones are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priest, priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices. You're not being built up to do any other thing. You're not being built up to show off. You're not being built up to compete with anyone. But we are supposed to be offering up spiritual sacrifices that are acceptable to God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 says, I beseech you therefore brethren, present you your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable before God. Today I pray that if there be any of us that has been living in sin, that today the Lord will be able to take you and say, my child, I need you in the kingdom. I need to use you for something. In your generation, because your body now becomes his representation. He's building you up into a spiritual house. When God builds, there is no noise. And today I'm here to encourage someone that has been so silent. Your season has been so silent. Your, all of us are being built. The difference is the location of your quarry is not the same with my quarry. We are all at different quarries, but God is building us up. When God builds, he does not ask for anyone's permission. You might be the least favorite of everyone. But anyway, God chose you. 
And God says, I will use you for generations. First Kings 6, 7 says that and the temple when it was being built was being built with stones that are already finished at the quarry. Some of us do not be so quick to present yourself before you're finished at the quarry. Stay at the quarry. Let the Lord work on you. It has been quiet. It has been silent. There's been no invitations, no missions, no nothing. Do not be discouraged. You're still in the hands of God. And I want to mention something that the Lord spoke and has kept on speaking and has again spoken this year. That there's a prophetic word of a Kenya. And worship team, thank you. I appreciate every team that is able to raise up the Kenyan sound. Know that other nations do not have sound. I appreciate them. And they are those that have written great songs that have become monuments in generations. But how I pray that as a Kenyan and as a child of God, you will know that there is prophecy over you and you will say like Timothy, like he was being instructed by Paul, that wage war with the prophecies that have gone before you. As a nation, we have to decide. We have worship teams, singers, worshipers that are here, musicians, songwriters that are here. There is an open heaven over East Africa. And the Lord says in the next three years that... Um, there will be more, more recordings. Umechokana live recording, you think it is fashion. It is not. The Lord has finished with people for quarry and our jenga. So we will see more live recordings. We will see more people singing songs. We will hear of more worship encounters and more worship experiences. Because there is prophecy over us as a nation. There is prophecy over us. And this prophetic word will come to pass. It is one thing to receive a prophetic word. It is another thing to rise up and begin to work towards it. And therefore the Lord says to us, like he said to Moses, that I am not in the fire. I am not in the earthquake. I am not in the wind. But I am in the still small voice. So don't think that a lot of noise means that there is progress in your life. That because you, you're going everywhere ministering, that there is grace upon your life. I stand not as one that has attained, but I stand as one as hungry as you are. As God raises men, I pray and I cry to him. God, raise me also for my generation. I pray that we shall find genuine Christians, genuine worshippers in the house that will say, Lord, I am here. I am ready, Lord Jehovah God. I pray that I will let you work on me. I pray that I will continually present my life as a living sacrifice because God is not dealing with dead stones. Peter says that the Lord is building us up because we are living stones. We are lively stones. We are going to continually offer to him sacrifices. I am telling you guys, God will begin to raise people we never thought qualified. Yesterday I met a lady that, that sang very well and I was telling her how she has blessed my heart. And she says, I am surprised. Because when people give testimonies of how they began singing while they were young, I was one of those persons that I was chased out of every worship team. And I was told that I cannot sing. But lo and behold, when she gave herself, the Bible says in, in Kings, that after the Lord has finished with the stone at the quarry, then it is brought into the temple, to the building up of the temple. And she is one of the best worship leaders in her church. So allow God to process you. Allow God to take you through whatever process. There are two things my pastor has taught me. That anything that happens in your life, the enemy might have intended it to destroy your life. But then God has always a good plan. He always makes a way. So everything that comes into your life, do not begin to complain and cry. It will either be God sent. God has sent it. God has allowed it. God is processing you. And if the enemy wants to destroy you, then God will use it to glorify himself in your life. We have to stop giving too much credit to the devil. He doesn't deserve any. So there is, there is an open heaven. There is an open portal for the next three years to go 2024. Count back at 2025.
2027, December. <laughs> and just look, anyone that will give themselves. Some of you are here and you're crying within yourself and you're saying, God, as I hear that, I continue to pray. Uh, you will need to stay in the place of prayer. You think you have prayed, God is sending you back. We can no longer continue raising songs with the kind of mess we are seeing with our young children. We have to change the culture. And we don't change the culture by wishing. We have to labor. We have to labor in the secret place. Because no one is able to change any human being's life. Except the spirit of God. And these songs, will, some of them will be very simple songs. But they will change atmospheres. Will shift the things in, in some certain denominations. Religion will die. Revival will break out in some of the most unpopular places. You'll go into a Methodist church and find them babbling in tongues. And you will find signs, miracles, and wonders. Why? Because the Lord says there's prophecy over you. And I am watching over my one, quickening to perform it. Mm. God's house is being built in silence. So when you see someone at Mepotea, do not always assume it is because of sin. Some of them are in the quarry of God. Some of them God is working on their lives. When you see them absent, don't always assume the worst. Don't always think that it is because of sin. Some of them will run away. But where they are, you know you cannot outrun God. If you go to the end, you will find him there. If you come to the beginning, you will find him here. God is building in silence. There are young people that are coming up here. <laughs> you think you know how to worship. You'll go back to the secret place. And it is not competition. It is just that God is telling you that I have people. Like he told Elijah. That God if I die, who will prophesy? God told him, come slowly my friend. I have some more in their thousands who have not bowed. And therefore this evening, I want us to know that if we don't worship him, he has many others. That has been building in silence for generations and generations. Some of them are children. Some of them are people that are mothers and fathers. We will see old men release the power of God. We will see them have the grace of intercession. That you get a prayer meeting unapata watu wa yang wamekuja kupray. I mean, prayer meetings will be one of the favorite meetings in this season. The season of building is not the season of jumping. When something is ikichongwa, haikuwa ginaraha. It is usually one of the toughest times. And thereafter we can be able to rejoice. Distractive work is noisy. When distraction happens anywhere. If you are allowed to see the time the, the U.S. Embassy, the former U.S. Embassy being bombed many years back. There's a lot of distraction. People as far as Karyobanki had the tremor that came from the CBD. Distraction is noisy. <laughs> God is building in silence. Hallelujah. God is building in silence. There's still small voice. So you've been asking yourself, Mini Kosawa, Nataka Kwambio Kosawa, Kapsa? And I want to encourage a, a certain group of people. There are about three of them. If your work goes unnoticed, you're the one who arranges the church every morning. You're the one when the worship team is supposed to be on time. You're the one that comes before them and prepares for them. And no one has ever told you thank you. Today the Lord is telling you thank you. 
You've labored in the secret place. You prayed for churches, for people, for families to be restored, to be, to be recovered back. And you sing people's lives being restored. And no one tells you thank you. In fact, some of them will even call you names. Today the Lord is telling you thank you. Because it's building in silence. Because it is God that is building you. When your time comes, God will show you for. So be patient. Be patient at the quarry. Uliza jirani yako misi juko kwa regani. Lakini wacha tutulie. The second thing I want to, to encourage, the second, the second people that I want to encourage, people that, that seem like they have been stagnated. You have been praying. People know you as the intercessor. But according to men, there are things that they have, they have qualified to say that your life is progressing. <laughs> ah, you have been on the same trajectory for years. You have been on the same trajectory. Things have come and they have changed. Facts have come and have changed. But you remain consistent. What you are going to do? They call you old fashioned. They still left you in the prayer, in the prayer room. I'm here to encourage you. You're in the quarry of God. In due time, He will show you. Because He's building you. When he begins to build the temple, he only brings stones that have already been made. So that Akuna Chisel Nahama Zitanyoku kwa temple. For you to carry the glory of God. Glory means weight. You have to build capacity. And that is what God is doing in your life right now. You're wondering why don't I have even an opportunity to lead a song? Ah uh ah. -uh. In fact, you should be rejoicing because God is preparing capacity within you. And the third group of people them that look like they are slow. People have been overtaking you for years. Children that you have raised or people that you have mentored Wanakuja wanakupita nikao umesimama. Ah uh ah. -uh. Usikwazike moyoni. Do not be afraid and begin to wonder what is wrong. Today God is telling you there is nothing wrong. Everyone has their own pace. Stop being bitter. Some of us, I just feel like some of us have been so bitter because the people they have helped, the people they have built, wanakanika wanaenda na waendi mahali. And people have even mocked you. My friend, number one, the first thing you need to do, forgive. Because it is not their fault. The Bible says promotion does not come from the east, nor the west. Where does it come from? The Lord. So your lifting will not be, as, will not be attached to any man. It shall only be acknowledged to be that of God. So I want to encourage that kind of a person. That you have been building slowly. You have affected every estate you have lived. If it is a court, come and if flat, kill a flat will issue. Come a maji ilikuwekisha, tangu ukuje maji ijaisha. Kama kulikuwa na wachawi walihama. Majirani ya wajui, you are affecting why? Because you carry God within you. And no one has ever noticed. But imagine God has been noticing. And God sent me to encourage you that continue building slowly. I am building a capacity. And in due time, I will show you form. Do you know Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, who offered himself a sacrifice? And the Bible says, no other sacrifice is ever needed because of this one sacrifice. He gave one sacrifice and it was he dealt with everything. Dealt with your generational as he dealt with it. <laughs> but he stayed in the quarry for 30 years. 30 years. The king of kings. 30. And then for 3 years he impacted the world that until tomorrow we keep on talking about him. 
So I don't know if you want to minister for 30 years and we forget about you. Or stay in the quarry until God says it is time, then you come. We know you have revelations upon revelations. Kakwa kwa kwari. Amia jiraniako kakwa kwari. The second thing I will talk about is God is usually more interested in our individual growth <laughs> than any other thing. That God will take you through a route where he knows you will learn the most. Worshippers that are in this house, when God says that he wants to trust you with songs that are going to open up atmospheres, God is not looking for people who are ready for titles. God is not looking for people who will call themselves celebrities. God is looking for servants. God is looking for sons that trust. God is looking for people that he can count on. People that will remain consistent in the high waters and in the, in the, in the valleys. That they will still say that, Lord, I worship you. I lift my hands. Not people when their heart is broken, their worship is broken also. Not people when they sleep hungry, their worship goes hungry also. God is building capacity. Recently, I have seen, I have seen something. God, by his grace, has given me very good young people. Young people that I've worked with for mostly over 10 years. And they have played music consistently. Some of them are CEOs. One of them is sitting here. When you go to his office, people salute him. But when he comes to ministry, even bila nashika besu, ndo anachezaka. Wewe ukona baiskeli, autupati hewa, shida yako ni gani? Bwana suwe sana. God is looking for people he can trust. That people, even when they get 5 million today, they will not shift church. You will still come to the youth service and you will sit and be taught. You will not want to give testimonies every Sunday. You will not want any other thing apart from God glorified. Because God, whatever God wants to do requires money. It requires strength in our character. Wewe juzi tu mtu ali alikubariki na 200,000 umepitia church sa hindo tunakuona juu imebaki 20,000 kwa account when it was 200 we, are, we did not see you when we cried with you in the prayer room you were very humble and crying when the answer came you went God is saying can I trust you can I trust you can I trust you my daughter can I trust you, my son? That unafanya live recording moja, sasa atupumziki. When you come, you want us to receive you from the gate. Wewe, wewe, unaenda wapi? Bwana sifiu. We have to come to a place that we will allow ourselves to grow and say, Lord, I die. The Bible says that unless a seed falls to the ground and dies it abides alone there are many things about our character there are many things about ourselves that God is saying I have no problem lifting you but unless ni kumalize kuare utenda kupika kelele uko kwa tempo buona sifiu you are blessed with new tongues so we don't have rest after everyone has finished praying your color red order. You pray in capital letters. God is asking, can I trust you? Bwana Swesan. God is asking, whatever I am doing in your life is not to the intimidation of everyone. God is building us into a spiritual house. And if he's building us, kwa yu ukuta, kuna maweyote tunaona imeprotrude, zote zime align. And it is interesting because when God is building, Afanyagi makosa ata kulainisha. So look at your neighbor, tell them, suffer well, my neighbor. Look at another neighbor, tell them, suffer well. And then tell them, because God is building you up.
it is in this place that God says that I want you to learn to commune with me how much time like the worship team that has just ministered today I know how much labor they labor before they stand <laughs> let me tell you with the little knowledge I have about God you're standing before people should be double or triple your time spent in the secret place so you've been wondering why you why your singing is dry I've given you your answer you have concentrated on the voice more than the the grace of God kama ni kuimba watu wako na masauti kama ni kucheza vyombo watu wana kucheza vyombo since you knew how to play the keyboard the pastor has no rest he has to keep on calling you where are you we are just about to begin sir may the lord help you mukianza hiyo tabia wapendwa bwana aswe sana let me tell you god most of the time exposes us to some places after building us to a certain extent to see how we will behave and someone said when you go into a buffet you will know someone that comes from bunyore and the other one that comes from nairobi because wa bunyore anasema hii matumbo nikiacha hapa naachia nani anajaza sahani anaeka melon na kila kitu hapo ajajua hii chakula ikitwa buffet si ya kuisha inaongezwagwa yani pole pole alafu utarudi bwana asifiwe may the lord may the lord grant us sight every time you commune with god god lights your mind god lights your path i pray that worshipers in this house and when i say worshipers i don't mean singers because they are worshipers that God is going to put as apostles in the marketplace. They are worshipers that God is going to put as landlords. They are worshipers that God is going to put as engineers and pilots. We need all of them. One as a few. That while we see when the worship team says we have a live recording and it costs 1.2, you will not begin to ask 1.2 ni anini nyinyi. Ya kuimba tu for 3 hour 1.2 you will stop complaining. You will say I will cater for that because the Lord has made me an apostle. Every time God promotes you financially, that money is not for you. Because ever since God lifted you, you're complaining about I think. And you've been complaining is he giving giving ni mingi. When you had 30,000 you, you were just humble. Kumbe ilikuwa humility ya uongo. communion with God forms our spirit man and we begin to see things the way God sees them and then there's continual laboring in the work of God what mama said consistency that you'll always be found you know there are people when I come to church of God I know I will find them in church there are those when I find them they are not here I don't ask because they are seasonal you know when they have money because they are 27 praise the lord mingi hi praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah ukimpata tarehe 10 sema praise the lord brother praise the lord praise the lord you know a season is different but i know of people that are consistent whether they have money in their pocket or not whether they have jobs or not whether they have children or not whether they are recognized or not they are consistent in their serving god and that is the place that god is calling us to that if god will trust you with a generation he wants you to know that haitafika mahali hiyo generation ianguke because uli uliachwa so kaambia watu wa yangu mtaachwa mtaachwa 
Someone that is able to take care of themselves and cry before God in the secret place, even in their brokenness of heart, even in their pain. And they come and they tell the people of God that we can still worship this God, that is a faithful God, that is a, a God that is faithful to his word, a keeper of his promises. Just seeing the person seated next to you. If they can tell you their process, then you'll begin to repent of what you have been complaining. When God is building, every layer is put one upon the other. <laughs> one upon the other. We have seen according to scripture that God and Asema, this house is being built by ready stones. Stones that have been finished. But as he malizi yu kwa mjengo, zina malizi wa wabi? And how God builds is number one, he uses your body. Romans 12, 1. Because <laughs> our body becomes his. Our life becomes his. That my life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. My life is not my own. Sing it. To you, my love. Romans twelve one says that I beseech you, brethren. Why was Paul beseeching these people? That by the masses of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. It is one of the reasons why you live. We live for God, not for ourselves. And when God says that, he desires that he reveals himself through your body. He desires that he reveals himself through your life. We have a common friend with my, my husband here. A lady that is a pastor and has desired to walk with God just like you and me. And she had a pact with God every month. She goes for seven days in the forest. She's a loo. Not hard anywhere. But she has raised two dead people. Even a cockroach have you raised? So my challenge to us is as I challenge myself also. Hakuna kufika. We have to keep on desiring God. We have to keep on akunanga professionalism in intercession. We grow. We behold him and we keep growing. We behold him and we keep growing. Akunanga kufika wa imbaji. Ami sauti yangu nikaya malaika ni malaika mgani ushawa yona. We keep on beholding him and we keep growing. Or else you'll miss it. You'll miss it. God is not looking for celebrities. God is not looking for people with titles. God is looking for his sons that are willing to give themselves that he may be revealed through their bodies. There has to be a willingness on my part. The second thing is <laughs> that when God is building he makes us through the happenings of life. He makes us. What has been happening in your life lately? Allow the Lord to make you. Because as we said, if it is not God sent, then...
it will be God used. So if God did not send it, then God will use it to glorify himself. <laughs> that God desires we come to a place of submission and trust. And the third thing I will say is, as God is building, I want you to know that he's the builder. You're not the builder, you're the stone. He is the master builder. And he is accurate in his work. <laughs> he knows perfectly where you're going to fit. So even the family that you've been asking, if you're a true child of that family, that is where you were born. And that is where God placed you. Because he knew that you will fit in there perfectly. Even if you have called yourself black sheep, from today, be a white sheep. Because of God. Because he is accurate in his placement. He knows perfectly well that you belong to church of God, Boruburu. Do not shift church. I will not mention which one. But do not shift and go there because our konampaka saxophone. Church of God, see you to me and a keyboard. You appeal to me and a saxophone. I thought you were saxophone live. He knows how he will build and how he will do it. And he does it accurately. What does he feel? Our parents are people that have been accurately placed by God in our lives. God knows how polite you are. And that is why alikupatia parent mahash akufundishe kujibalance. And some of us, God knows how crazy you can become. And so he gave you a crazier parent that can match your craziness. He's an accurate father. And I will say as I finish that God does not gather stones. Ah, God does not gather stones. He is building us up into a spiritual house. That each and every one of us is a lively stone. And him being the master builder, <laughs> he calls us co-laborers with him. So because he's a master builder, we qualify the, the, the name builder. But we cannot build by ourselves. We build according to his instruction, according to everything that he has placed. Hallelujah. And therefore, I declare according to Isaiah chapter 40, I want you to display verse 4. Kadela basola brade. Akia bo satala baradu gadela. Agaya saleva rogadi sanaya. That I declare because God is building us up. That every valley shall be exalted. And every mountain and every hill shall be brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight. And the rough places smooth. I repeat again that every valley shall be exalted. Every shortcoming that we have shall be exalted, shall be filled by God. Every mountain, anything that has stood my father as a roadblock, my father, today you're bringing them low. In the name of Jesus, we stretch our faith, Lord, that as worshippers we shall fit into that way that you're building in this season and in this time, my father, that every crookedness in our lives, oh God, shall be made straight, not by ourselves, but by your spirit and every rough place of God. Every place in our character that needs making, that Father in the name of Jesus, you're going to do according to your word, according to your desire, in the name of the Lord Jehovah God. I pray for the generation that are seated hearing my voice. I pray my Father, pray my Lord, grab for yourself a man, a woman, a young man, Lord, that is crying that, Lord, here I am. I want us to get on our feet and get praying in the name of Jesus. I want you to respond to the word of God. God. And I want you to pray for yourself. Pray for yourself like you have never prayed before. Pray that the Lord will be able to lift you up again. Ah, katala burande katadu sade. Abera talaku sade la banana. Okane katadu la pasi libiala. Oradi katadu sadala. Ekele tere du gadai. Abela karadu gadala tolare. Obaye kalaku rabadana. I give you praise, Lord. 
I give you praise, Lord. The Bible calls us living stones. And because we are living stones, each and every one of us carries an anointing within them. Even if you don't believe it. Unless if you're not born again. I'll make this altar call that if you're not born again and you'd like to be made a living stone like what you're hearing us talk about, you can make your way to the front. If you're not born again, make your way to the front because God is interested in your life. You're precious to Him. You're not here by accident. He loves you. Kale radado shatala Ibalo kasala prandega dados and this is what I want us to do. There's no one that is coming. I want you to hold the hand of your neighbor just in twos. And I want you to pray for one another. And this is what I want us to pray. Because I want us to agree. Pray that you shall become the generation that shall become living memorials. And as you make this prayer, I want you to know that some of you today will be the day that something is rebirthed in you. Some of you have desire to write songs. I pray that even as we pray that that case be released upon you in the name of Jesus. Some of you have, have desired to see the working of miracles, to see healings, to see the, the manifestation of the speaking of tongues in people, in, in young people, in old people, people of different generations. I want you to hold someone's hand. Because I want you to pray. This is not a joke. I want you to pray for that person. And the prayer is very simple. That God count me as part of my generation. That will become a living memorial in the name of Jesus. Palare katatula mazela balora. Epaka sala brandiga dadosa dela. Okani galato radiga dado sada. My Father and my Lord Jehovah God that today as we respond to my Father to your word that Father you are going to build up my Father every individual. Father God I commend every individual to your grace oh God. My Father and my Lord Jesus I pray that lives here my Lord that the lives that have been said that they are not amounting to anything Lord. The Father in the name of Jesus say tala bro da dea okala kara du da dea Salaba, who can make a latura de gadadosa? Ayaka latura de gadadosa. The Father God, my Lord, of the generations shall be raised, my Lord. Generations, Lord, shall be raised, O Jesus. Generations, Lord, shall be raised, O God. My Father, generations of people that will pray without season. Generations of people that will serve you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Eka dado salaba, O kane talaba rado gadela, O kana ne kataluka rada diso, apela karado. Cadela Basso, Abila Carabatano Cadela, Ayatala Bassana Brade Gadadosa, Ayakala Cosa Talabayana, Father God, I pray for one as my Lord of God, I pray Bill Papa Catisola, A Parado Cadela, let us at the forty verse fourteen, my Lord, come to pass, my Father, let us at the forty verse fourteen, Lord, come to pass in the children's last door, let the Bacatisola, let the Boom Alacatisola, first Peter chapter two. Father, my Lord, become a reality to us. Our generations, Lord, our generations, Jehovah, our generations, Lord, our generations, Lord, to the glory and honor of your name, to the glory and honor of your name. Anita Labayala, Shadevala Kradu Lord, grab for yourself a people, Lord. Grab for yourself a people, Lord, and a God. There will be generation changes, oh God. Align destinies today, my Father. Align destinies, Lord, over God, today. In the name of Jesus. Kalabaradiale karabadalo kare dalabaza. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes. 
Only you can do what no man can do. Only you can do what no man can do. Only you can change what no man can change. Only you can tell what no man can tell. Only you can do what no man can do. Only you can tell what no man can tell. Only you can do what no man. Only man can tell. Only you can do what no man can do. Only you are able, Daddy. So 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 come on. Only you, only you, only. For me, Psalms 24. Psalms 24. Just keep on playing, musicians. Just keep on playing. I just feel like there's some realignments happening in the spirit. I believe that with the whole of my heart. Psalms 24. And I want them that can. I want us to declare this psalm together. One to go. A psalm of David. Let us read together. The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness. The world and those who dwell therein. Let's go ahead. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He who that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob. The generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. Lift up your heads, all you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, all you gates. Lift up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Hallelujah. As we declare this psalm, I want you to get your offering, and I want us to give. Or you had already given. I want you to give your offering. 
And when I was coming in, I found some t-shirts out there. Pick one. Don't even bring the basket. Let them come and place it here. Come with your offering. Only you can do vessels of honor. What no man can do. Only you can say. What no man can say. Only you, Lord. Yeah. Congratulations. You will change your generation. Just greet them and tell them congratulations. You will change your generation. Tell them again congratulations. You will change your generation. So turn to your neighbor, Mbele, Numa, side and side. Mbele, congratulations, you will change your generation. Amen. sing one song and then I'll return the mic. This song <laughs> uh, I wrote it Kitambo San. I think I was a student in Form 1 or Form 2. But uh, there are those songs that we see we, we are not sure who wrote it. Eh? I'm, I'm not saying that for any reason. I'm saying that to help you. That you're not too young to write. 
or too old to write.
and we trust that God is taking us to another level. In whichever stage that we are in in the quarry, we accept and we look forward to our next level that will be more gracious. So let us bow down as we commit the servant of God in the hands of God. Our mighty loving God in heaven, again we are so humbled this evening because of who you are. Thank you because when we are not thinking about ourselves, you are thinking about us. You know us more than we know ourselves and you understand us more than we understand ourselves. In this particular day, this particular hour, your servant has stood before us to bring your oracles. We want to worship you, Jesus, because you have been the author and the finisher of the sermon of the day. We have witness of your power that has been able to impact your servant with great anointing this evening. The Lord, she has deliberated on your word according to your will and purpose. We thank you that you have prepared us, O Jehovah, to receive your word. And indeed, we have received your word with gladness this evening. How we pray that God, as we step out of this house, the Lord, we shall never be the same again. We have started a journey of building a generation that will form a memorial in our lives, O Jehovah. We give you praise because of your servant, O Father. How we pray that God, you will continue to increase in him, that in her, in everything that she shall do. To your glory, my Father, there shall be more grace and more favor. Together with her family, we present them before your seat of throne. Where their needs and their growth in your spiritual world shall take place. May your presence never leave them. May your presence go with her together with her family. May you feel her more and more that she may minister to many and make impact to many in the spiritual world. We are grateful that we had this family today. And we honor your holy name for preparing them for this season. Because we have been touched in our hearts. And we give praise to your holy name. May all glory and honor turn back to you as you increase, as they increase, decrease to your honor. In Jesus' holy name, we do pray and believe. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. We may have our seats just for a few minutes so that we can acknowledge our visitors. And then after that, we shall say the word of the grace, then we shall leave. So we thank everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you for turning up for this worship experience. May God bless you so much. May God bless you abundantly. The worship team, may God bless you. May God increase in you. May God continually be your portion, even as you minister to him, as you practice and as you do all that pertains to the ministry. May God bless you so much. Reverend Ben, Reverend Clarice, may God bless you. May God continually increase your ministry. Now, I'd like to appreciate our visitors. Do we have any other pastor apart from Reverend Boabi, Reverend Ben, or Reverend Clarice? Any oh, kuna mungina kuko nyumba. Just just wave and shout your name so that we can know you. Oh, Pastor Ben. Oh, welcome. Thank you so much, Pastor Ben. Feel welcome. We appreciate God and we thank God for you. Uh, do we have members from Tasia Church of God? Tasia Wako? Oh, Amanda. Let's appreciate Tasia. Thank you so much for Tasia Church of God.